Uh, this is possibly the best new portable washing machine available. Um, this is a Danby portable washer. This might be the only portable washer in this style from Danby that's available. Um, I think these, these retail for around $400. I've got a pretty good deal on mine. Uh, actually, a very good deal. <laughs> um, and the reason uh, I like this washer so much is because uh, I owned a different portable washer and it was a higher. Uh, it was their base model, the one cubic foot model, I think HLP21N. And um, it had a um, it had a little spinning disc on the bottom that, that spun back and forth at a high speed. But it didn't really turn the clothes over. I wasn't that impressed with its performance. It was better than the crappy unit that I had downstairs that we have downstairs a front loader. But it didn't do that great of a job. And it didn't rinse the clothes as thoroughly as I would have liked. It didn't get all the detergent out. Uh, this one's a lot better. Um, the reason it's a lot better, it's, it's made like an old-fashioned washer. Uh, and it's got um, an old-style agitator. Let me turn on the flash. Yeah, it's got an old style agitator, just like the old fashioned washing machines. Uh, a big four vein agitator that goes all the way up in the, in the basket. The basket's almost twice the size of the hire that I had. Holds a lot more clothes. Unlike the base hire, um, it's got a lint filter uh, inside the agitator. And you can see it's already got some, I gotta clean it out soon. Um, so it catches lint, which the, the hire did not. Let's put that back in place. Um, yeah, it, it's really nice. Uh, this lid here folds halfway if you have like a dryer on top. But what I do is I just roll it up to my sink. Um, it hooks up to any standard kitchen faucet. I apologize for how gross my sink looks. Uh, that hooks up like that. You can run water through this and depressurize it um, when you're done doing laundry if you'd like. And then I have the hose hanging here. Probably one of the only faults of the machine I have, I have with the machine, one of the only things I don't like. This hose is a little on the short side, so I have to hang it off of this dish drying rack, which is really light, so that I have to weigh it down to make sure that this doesn't go anywhere while I'm doing a load of laundry. But that's it. The other thing is that it's a lot heavier than the other portable washer I had, but it has a stabilizer foot that you turn and um, to unlock, and you can push it up. But you really need to put it down when you're using it, and it's on wheels, so when you roll it away, you have to lift the washer up slightly, unscrew this, if you want to roll it away from your sink without it leaving streaks all over your floor. Uh, so, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and load it up. Um, here are the controls. Uh, you've got hot and cold. That's actually, if you don't have it hooked up to a sink, I just have my faucet set to a certain temperature. Uh, water height, I'm going to go ahead and just turn this on. Uh, water height, by default, it sets to high. The type of cycle, I believe the shirt is normal. Uh, pants are like, I think, heavy wash. This is quick rinse, and I, this is delicates. And I did not know what the hell any of those meant when I first got it. This too, th what this does is it tells you the progress. Um, this is, if you have this on for heavy, for like intensive clean, I don't remember how I had it set. Oh yeah, you can you set it here. You can have it soak first. So if the clothes are really bad or you want to soak them in OxyClean or something first before you wash them, you can do that if you want. Um, this means they're, it's agitating. This means the, it's, I think in the rinse or it's filling up. And then this is spin. This is when it's in the spin cycle. So you can, you can auto select cycles. So if you want, if you just wanted to like, for instance, dry something you can hit the spin cycle and get all the water out of it so you got a bunch you got a bunch of different options I'm just gonna leave it on the default and uh, and then get started I'm gonna do a load of three towels and maybe a hand towel um, I want it to turn over the clothes okay if you overfill it it still cleans really well it, it really moves the clothes around and washes them nicely it does an excellent job but it doesn't turn them over that much and that means it doesn't move them around in the basket like old-fashioned washers used to and that was a really effective cleaning method um, so let's get started okay. pause this. washer I use about half a cup of just cheap laundry detergent uh, just gonna get this in. Uh, something obvious since I was a kid, I always put the soap in first. There's actually a designated soap tray up here, but eh, I don't know what it um, And 
one more. It's set to the high water level, so I'm curious to see how this is actually. It may or may not turn this over well, so we'll see. This might be kind of to the max. Um, I'm going to leave out the dish towel. So I'm going to pause this now and we'll get back. I'll show you how it cleans uh, once it's full. Just about ready to go. Again, I have this on the default wash cycle, which is uh, the water set to warm, um, high level, I think heavy wash with the, with the pants. And um, uh, right now it is filling up to wash. It is, it's almost full, it's gonna start soon. It doesn't fill up quite all the way. So if you overfill it, it'll still clean the clothes really well, but it won't really move them around in the, in the, in the basket. Uh, it's really quiet. I love that. I'm not sure how much that'll show on on camera. It senses that it wants just a little bit more water, so it stops and does just that. Uh, my water pressure is not great here. Um, it, it could fill up a lot faster if your water pressure is better. whips the clothes around and the my other portable washing machine did not do that. And it's just this just cleans much more effectively. It's a lot more aggressive too as a result. Um, it barely works in it, but the largest thing I've been able to wash in this, which I'm really happy because it means I can wash everything in my apartment in this, is I have two clean size comforters. And one at a time, it did work. I had to kind of keep an eye on it to make sure that it didn't. Uh, hop out of the basket or anything. Oh, 
as far as drying, I've got a small apartment dryer that I really like, and I also have uh, two air drying racks that I use uh, from time to time. They're both from Ikea. They're awesome. I'll show you those. Uh, air drying the clothes indoors, it's really better if you have the windows open. When it's running, all you really hear is the is the water sloshing about. It's not bad at all. It's really, really quiet. I'm going to let it do its thing, and then we'll come back for the first rinse and spin. All right, just wrapped up its first, first main wash cycle, and now it's going to... I don't know if this is just to balance out the clothes. I don't know why it does this, but the higher did it, too. And then it's... I'm finding that dirty when I first washed everything, using this washer, everything was filthy. Because it hadn't really been cleaned in years. And, uh, So now it's not that bad. Actually, these yellow towels hadn't been properly washed in so long, a bunch of yellow dye shot out of them, <laughs> was washed out of them, uh, and they're about four years old. Pretty gross. Another thing I like about this, it's got a really good spin cycle, and it does it three times. Um, the higher couldn't really get up to speed and keep balance at high speed, so it like, would like pulse, but this one does a real, a real spin cycle like any washer should.
So there it is. The, uh, the Danby uh, DWN17WDB uh, portable washing machine. It's, uh, I think it's the only one like this that they make right now. It's, I would say it's great if you don't currently have one or you don't have the space for a lot of full-size machine uh, or the hookups like I do. I don't have the hookups here. It's so much better than spending money on gross shared machines. Uh, yeah, one of the, I really think it's one of the best purchases I've ever made. I'm extremely happy with it. So I'm going to let it do its thing and we'll come back and see how the clothes come out. Okay, so now it's all done. Let's see how it did. Seems pretty good. Nice and clean. And ready for the dryer. So yeah, here it is. This is the uh, Danby portable washing machine. I would, as far as new products go, it's probably the best one like it. So if you don't have washer hookups and just want to hook it up to the sink in your kitchen or bathroom, or um, if you just have a really small space, a small laundry room, and you want a smaller machine that still does a great job, uh, I'd recommend it. All right, hope you enjoyed. Okay, as far as air drying options, this is a very large drying rack that I got from Ikea. It is $14.99. It's been awesome, but air drying indoors, uh, to be honest, the, co the clothes will come out like pretty stiff and I'm not used to it growing up with luxury of a dryer but the only reason I'm using this now is because I've been doing laundry all night and I have two loads from the Dan being this which is completely filled to capacity it's gonna take probably two hours and 20 minutes for the whole thing to dry but a huge load of laundry in there right now in my Panda dryer um, these retail for around 249 I believe to 300 uh, I got this one on Craigslist for $80 it had a dent in the package. I think somebody returned it or something. So I got a really good deal on it. I'm really happy with it. Just like the washer, it's really quiet. The only way I would use this model is if you can do what I can do, which is vent it out of a window. I'm able to vent this. I've got it set up to vent out of my uh, a window in my front closet. Uh, otherwise, it puts a lot of moisture back in the air. And if you use dryer sheets, dryer sheets are really toxic to breathe. Um, and you'll just have you'll just basically just be spewing poison in the air. So only if you can vent it, but it's excellent. Um, this with the Danby basically lets me do um, just as good of a job as uh, the big machines I had at my parents' house, or a better job in my opinion than going to the laundromat or using the gross machines that are downstairs. So there you go. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, have a great day.